हेलो एवरीवन आई एम सिमरन गगनेजा रिसर्च स्कॉलर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ माइक्रोबायोलॉजी पंजाब यूनिवर्सिटी टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द हिस्ट्री ऑफ अ वायरस दैट टुक द वर्ल्ड बाय स्टॉम कोविड 19 वायरस बिलोंग्स टू द कोरोना वेरेडे फैमिली एंड इवॉल्ड फ्रॉम सार्स कोविड कोरोना वायरस इज़ अ लार्ज एनवलप्ड वायरस विद अ पॉजिटिव स्ट्रैंड आर इन ए जिनोम एज अ नोवल बीटा कोरोना वायरस सार्स कोविड टू शेयर सेवेंटी नाइन परसेंट जिनोम सीक्वेंस आइडेंटिटी विद सार्स कोविड एंड फिफ्टी परसेंट विद मर्स कोविड द फर्स्ट एवर केस ऑफ दिस वायरस वॉज रिपोर्टेड इन वुहान चाइना इन ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन ऑन मार्च ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी डब्ल्यू एच ओ डिक्लेयर दिक्कत एज अ पेंडेमिक Let's talk about the evolutionary history of this infectious virus which shook the whole world as well as the medical community. A few years back, Guangdong province of China witnessed a pneumonia case which was first reported on February 2003. Soon this unidentified pathogen infected as many as 25 countries, flaring this infection into an epidemic and was termed severe acute respiratory syndrome SARS. The infectious particle was a virus that was identified as a member of coronavirus family. The incubation period of this virus was usually 2 to 7 days and it caused fever with chills, headache, malaise and muscle pain. As the disease progresses, it infects the lower respiratory tract and causes dyspnea, meaning shortness of breath, hypoxemia which means low blood oxygen level. Severity in these cases required the patients to have intubation and mechanical ventilation. Coronavirus is a notorious virus which is known to have a zoonotic transmission as well. In the case of COVID-19, this virus was suspected to be transmitted from a bat. However, in the case of SARS, it was reported that cat-like animals called mast palm civets, which are scientifically known as Pygma larvata, were the reservoirs of the variants of SARS virus further experimentation rejected the above proposed theory as a SARS sample taken from an infected human was used to infect the civet on infection it induced illness in the civets which means that civets are not reservoirs reservoirs are perfect host harboring viruses while remaining asymptomatic In 2005 a study carried out by two group of scientists reported that chinese horseshoe bats are the natural reservoirs of the corona viruses this finding was supported by genomic findings in which the nucleotide sequence from human sars cov and bat sars cov was aligned together to determine the percent homology on the bioinformatic analysis it was determined that 92% of genome sequence was conserved identical between the two samples of the virus the sars cov virus receptor recognizes the angiotensin converting enzyme 2 ace2 in humans the receptor or the virus spike protein binds ace2 in a specific region called the receptor binding domain the rbd protein is a 220 amino acid protein it only differs in four amino acids in humans and civets However during 2003 to 2004 it was molecularly analyzed and was observed that RBD protein has mutated reducing its affinity as a result by the end of 2003 the epidemic was decreased according to the findings of the Ben Hue et al who performed a comparative study on SARS CoV-2 and SARS CoV-2 it was determined that SARS CoV-2 uses the same receptor as SARS CoV that is angiotensin converting enzyme 2 besides human ace2 sars cov2 also recognizes ace2 from pigs ferrets rhesus monkey civets cats pangolins and rabbits a four residue motif in the rbd of sars cov2 results in a more compact conformation of its human ace2 binding ridge than in sars cov2 and enables better contact with n terminal helix of human ace2 biochemical data confirm that the structural features of the sars cov2 rbd have strengthened its human ace2 binding affinity as compared to that of the sars cov2 i would like to express my immense gratitude to my dear professor archana ma'am 
for encouragement and the motivation and dr nitin sir for the lucid editing these are the things which truly makes this channel our channel this is truly a place where we all can grow together and learn as well as share amazing aspects of microbiology and the people associated with it with this i would like to end this session but shall see you very soon with another amazing video take care and bye till next time